Hello, this is your introduction to Unit 1. Unit 1 is a preparatory unit consisting of two movement patterns. One designed in effect to unlock the compression situation and the other to begin the process of resetting the natural arrangement of the pelvic bones to a balanced or symmetrical pattern where presently one side of your sacrum is twisted forward, the condition called the torqued or torsioned sacrum. So the first movement in this unit is called gentle spine waves, and the purpose of that movement pattern is to relax the back musculature, and by so doing to take compression forces out of the lumbosacral junction. The lumbosacral junction is where your low back meets the sacrum or center bone of your pelvis. So by relaxing the back muscles you'll feel your back get flatter and you'll feel somewhat longer. That sets the stage for the following movement pattern which is the sideline sacral self-correction. This is also a relatively beginning move, both of them relatively gentle and non-demanding, and suitable for people in fairly delicate condition. Now I'll briefly discuss the essence of the two movements. By essence I mean the central aspect of the movement that makes it do what it's supposed to do. With gentle spine waves, you're practicing controlling the muscles of your low back and also of the hip joint flexors in front of your hips where your pants pockets are in order to remove the compression forces and the essence of that movement is the smoothness with which you transition from movement element to movement element hence the name gentle spine waves so you should never be forcing and never be treating this as a stretch, but rather treating it as a movement pattern that you're learning to make smoother and smoother. Now one of the keys to this movement is toward the end of the movement where you're pressing the back of your head down and your sacrum down. The back of your head with your chin up and the sacrum with the back arched so the tailbone presses down. You want to feel both places, back of the head and tailbone, pressing equally, at which point you'll do a slow relaxation of the effort that lifts your chest and feel the compression forces go to your low back. It's good to hold that sensation long enough that you feel something shift inside yourself before completing the relaxation. The other movements in that action pattern may be rightly regarded as building up and preparing you for that last movement where your head and tailbone press down. So that's gentle spine waves. The sideline sacral self-correction involves going into different twisted shapes with one leg forward and the same side arm and shoulder back. The leg forward being turned as given in the instructions and the arm and shoulder being turned the opposite way as given in the instructions. And it's essential during that movement to keep those twists as you go into the relaxation phase. So that's the thing to remember. And you want to stay balanced throughout that swinging movement. To the degree that you're off balance, you feel awkward and tighten up. That interferes with the intended outcome of the movement pattern. So, maintain balance throughout the movement and maintain the twists that you're instructed to do. So that's the essence of Unit 1. And you practice that until you get a distinct change from having done those movements. Distinct change doesn't mean that your symptoms have gone away. It means that the change intended by each of those movements has occurred. Flattening of the low back, when you're doing the gentle spine waves and an elongation of the compressed side where the compressed side is the side where that side of your sacrum is deeper in and jammed against its neighboring bone the hip bone or ilium 
So one movement elongates and relaxes your spine, and the other elongates the overcompressed side. With that, let's begin. <laughs> 